is based from Seminole, Florida, and is run by the well-known general manager, Nick Perry. Nick has a total of four employees made up of two peaceful co-workers, Sam and Wanda, and two dueling assistant managers, Steve and Joni. In our show, you will see the challenges Nick faces in dealing with his quarreling employees and his road to becoming an effective manager. So Nick Ferry is the general manager of Avengers Gym. He's a strong citizen and very well known in the area. He's very likable and brings lots of clients to the gym. He's basically at the helm of the gym and he's trying to resolve uh, a problem that's occurring between two of his coworkers. So Tony Stark is a co-assistant manager of Avengers Gym. He doesn't really act very nicely towards others. He kind of has a uh, sour attitude towards a lot of people. He um, often yells in front of the customers. He's just kind of, you know, like a Scrooge, a grouch. He uh, also is very arrogant, always thinks that he's the smartest one in the room. Rogers is another co-assistant manager of Avengers Gym. He and Tony really have this beef between the two of them. Steve is pretty much the opposite of Tony. He is a sweet, kind, all-American boy. He loves to be in the gym, doing physical activity. He's a great worker, always wants to keep everything really clean. Um, kind of an introvert, but extremely nice. And um, him and Tony, for some reason, they just really do not get along about anything. Wanda Maximoff uh, is a crew member of Avengers Gym. She is an introvert, super nice girl. Um, she's a little odd. She's a huge fan of magic tricks and illusions, but she loves her job, and she just really is all about keeping peace and is actually good friends with another one of the co-workers, Sam. Um, and there, Sam and Wanda are going to team up and try to help Nick resolve the issues that keep happening between Steve and Tony. And she actually ends up taking sides. She really does side with Tony um, in most of the matters, but she does want them to work out their issues. So lastly, we have Sam Wilson, who is another crew member of the gym. Uh, like I said, He's one of the peaceful co-workers. Him and Wanda um, team up together to help Nick resolve the issues between Tony and Steve. Uh, Sam's actually a long-time uh, friend of Steve. He loves birds, which is a little fun fact. Um, but again, he's just a really dependable, sweet guy, fun-loving, um, trying to keep the peace in the gym. So these are some of the links to our episodes. Uh, the first link has our YouTube playlist, which is titled The Mighty Few, and then the rest of the links are all of our YouTube links to the episodes. Okay, so if I start looking around, it's because I'm reading notes on how to talk about these concepts. So just don't mind me looking around real quick. So we're going to start off with episode two and the concepts to talk about in episode two. So basically the concepts we're discussing in episode two are like lack of direction, lack of management, stress and tension, and the decision-making process. So in episode two, it's basically the episode where Steve and Tony finally get into an argument over whether to use wipes or towels on the gym equipment. Um, Wanda and Sam are really tired of arguing, so they actually take sides with Steve and Tony, and then it becomes a pretty big issue when everyone starts to take sides. Finally, Nick found out about the problem, and so he's like, you know, I have to be a manager. I should figure out how to solve this before it turns into something bigger and disrupts my guests. 
Um, so basically, we already talked about what the concepts are talked about in the episode. So we're going to start off with the lack of direction. So the lack of direction provided by Nick is a huge issue. It seems like um, it was never clarified whether towels or wipes were supposed to be used with in the beginning. So that's why there's a bit of discord between Steve and Tony right now. Um, so it's kind of crucial for Jim whether they use wipes or towels. And this should have been set as a ground rule while they were hired as employees in the first place. So the fact that it wasn't set as a ground rule is a big issue. It kind of needs to be corrected pretty quick. Um, the lack of direction stems from a lack of management provided by Nick. And um, as the manager, Nick needs to step up and set ground rules, um, not let sides between the employees form, and then he needs to learn how to solve this world pretty quickly if he wants to make sure that none of the guests find out about this sort of tension going on. Um, there's some clear stress and tension between um, Steve and Tony right now, or just in the episodes in general, really. Um, so stress and tension tends to form when one employee doesn't have a really good mindset or their mood um, is just a negative mood. And that can spread to the other employees, which is not good. You don't want everybody in your team having a bad mood or a bad mindset. Um, so as a manager, it's good to check in with your employees once in a while to see how they are that day, what their feelings are, how they feel with the company. It's just good to check in with everyone once in a while to show that you care and to make sure that their negative nanziness doesn't really spread to your other employees because once that spreads around, you're kind of in deep water right there. It's not really looking too good for you. So we also noticed in this episode that Nick realizes that there's a problem between the employees. And he's just there wondering, you know, how am I going to solve this problem? Let's get down to it. I need to solve this. It's going to be a bigger issue. And so the first, this is the first couple steps within the decision-making process. You need to first recognize that there's a problem. And then you need to actually come up with some ideas and set up an action plan based on your decisions and the consequences that can work. So the concepts in episode three present as teamwork, group decision making, collaboration, and flexibility. <clears throat> so episode three is when Sam and Wanda kind of join forces because they're tired of everyone arguing. Um, together they confront Nick and they want the issue to be solved. They want it to be nipped in the bud. They don't want it spread into the guests anymore. So the three of them team up and they start thinking of a plan together on how to solve the issue, how to stop the arguing. Um, the concepts discussed in the episode again are teamwork, group decision making, collaboration, and flexibility. <clears throat> so teamwork is trying to help each other out to accomplish a common goal. A collaboration is like teamwork and more of just kind of includes teamwork in the definition. Um, so collaboration and teamwork together help to make up group decision making. Group decision making is you know, the normal decision-making process, just trying to come up with ideas to reach a common goal, but this time you do it in a group. Now, group decision-making does have its perks, you know, you get a bunch of different ideas, you have a bunch of different people, so it's not just one idea, you get different ideas coming together to try and reach a common goal, it creates variety. Um, but it also does have its setbacks, you know, you have a lot of different minds speaking, so there may be some conflict going on with that, and you have to be super flexible because you have to listen to everybody's idea and try and work and improve those ideas. Um, but yeah, so it can be super helpful, and it, but it can also be really, really tricky. And um, with any decision-making process, especially if in a group decision, uh, everyone has to be flexible with each other. You have to be flexible with success, change, different ideas, and failure. It's not always going to work out like you plan it to. You think you have this amazing picture in your head, but it doesn't always work out like that. And that's fine. That's normal. Um, but you also can't have it just your way. It's the highway. 
because then nobody's going to like you. Your plan is always going to fail. You know, it, 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 if you're trying to do something in a group, it can't just be your opinion and your idea all alone. It has to be a group collaboration. It has to be a group decision. So that's what they try to figure out. And hopefully they get it together in the later episodes. You know, sneak peek they do. But, um, yeah, just keep watching our episodes. So these are some of the conclusions that our group found. Uh, the first one says, being a manager or part of the management team is no easy task. Collaboration is extremely important. Planning, organizing, setting the standards, and resource management are just a few of the daily duties that they deal with. And then managers also um, have to learn how to work with it and communicate with your team is key to keep things running smoothly. So for our group of Reflection. Uh, as a group, we all found this project to be challenging but fun. The concepts and projects themselves weren't hard, but getting organized were a bit of a challenge. We all appreciate each other's hard work and time put into each project, and we appreciate the project as a whole and what it's taught us. Communication is key, but is also the biggest challenge we faced. Thanks for watching our projects, and thank you to you, Mr. Diazio, for the cool assignments. So here are some individual reflections. So doing this project has been a really eye-opening experience for me. Uh, coming from a smaller, private, liberal arts college, we um, haven't really had to do a lot of online courses. So having an online course that was so group project has been super interesting uh, for me. Just only being able to uh, communicate with your group via online. Uh, I've really been surprised to see how much uh, you can accomplish in this kind of online setting. I think that this project has really driven home the importance of communication and clear expectations within a group setting. I think while our group, you know, got off to a little bit of a slow start there with the communication thing, once everybody started uh, responding and doing well with the communication, we really just skyrocketed and there was nothing we couldn't do. Um, I also think in the online setting, we were able to express our ideas and get the assignments done in such a different way, and being able to see, um, you know, just how creative people are, and see what different ideas come to the table, and, you know, work with the group to decide which idea was the best was also a really cool process, and for me, I also use my drawing skills, um, as I drew a lot of the episodes, and I did a lot of things like that, and uh, that was super interesting for me, not having really done anything like that before, or not art major or anything. Um, but just learning those managerial concepts in a real-life situation, I mean, Avengers Gym obviously isn't real, but I think it could be in real life, and see situations and workplaces and how people manage other people, and just learning all these effective concepts and, you know, ways that real-life problems can be solved was super helpful for me. Um, and I'm excited to see how they apply in real business growth. So again, uh, just reflecting back, I'm really happy with the group I got paired with and our project design and idea, and I think it was a super fun and interesting class, and definitely, uh, you know, nothing I probably would have encountered before. So, thanks guys. Okay, so take three. Uh, my name is Paige. I'm part of the Team Mighty Few group, and this is basically going to be my individual reflection video. So, basically, kind of what I've learned from this project overall is to not is to rely on people to do their own portion of the project rather than you try to do everything out of frustration or be super aggravated about it. Just email your professors if someone's not doing something. That's kind of a recommendation, but. Just email your professors if someone's not doing their portion of the project, and I liked how the professors in this class, Yasio and Weekly, really helped fix our problem and you know, fix our whole group because it was a lot more helpful the rest of the project rather than trying to do a project meant for like a group of five, trying to do it with maybe two, three people. It's a lot easier that way. But like for me, I tend to have a lot of family occurrences. Like I've had a lot just this past week or two, which is why I'm making the video on Friday night instead of like Monday night because it's I've been extremely busy. But again, being able to do group projects like this can be very helpful, which is great. So 
Yeah, I've had complications in the past before with projects, but this one, after the first week of trouble, actually became a lot better, and people became a lot more responsive and cooperative, which made the entire project a lot better, which is great. Hey everybody, it's me, Sham. Um, just here, excuse me. Um, just here to report on our project. My reflection is, uh, is that it went really well. Um, communication was very tight. Uh, with different schedules, we managed to um, communicate effectively and uh, make sure that the project could come into fruition. Um, moving forward, uh, I would say start a group chat. Um, to make things easier. Email sometimes is a little slow. Um, but uh, either, you know, keep those deadlines early um, so that way you're not forcefully pushing things till the last minute to do them. Um, we did a great job, a good job team. Um, we all worked together. We made things happen. And i um, very thankful I ended up with this team because um, we were all able to get everything done in an effective manner um, and just keep uh, each week keep improving, keep sending more emails, keep um, working on things that we were weak on the week before uh, to make ourselves stronger and to finish uh, the race and get everything done on time. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys communicate and uh, you'll be good. Yep, that's it. So my name is Morgan, and this is my individual reflection of our group project, program management. Cool. So um, in the very beginning, it was super rough because we only had two people. It was me and Paige in the very beginning, and that was rough. It's very rough to do a group project with only two people. So finally, the... Um, like, almost the night before, we had Sam join our group, and she's like, hey, what can I do? And I'm like, yo, you can draw, you know, cool, thank you for um, contacting us. And then slowly, everyone started to kind of try and join the group, and like, hey, you know, sorry, I couldn't find this, or I had stuff going on. Unfortunately, it, it just didn't work out. So, um... There was a bunch of discord with the first project. There was a bunch of unanswered questions and kind of just bad stuff going wrong on the first project, which I'm sorry about that. It just didn't work out. You know, sometimes things don't work out. So for the next project, um, there was a bit of trouble with communication. There's always trouble with communication. Always, always, always. So it's important to try and work that out when you can. And um, it, it was better, you know, definitely better than the first one. You can't get really much worse than that. But there was some problem with communication. We couldn't really all communicate together. We had several people texting each other. And then some people didn't have a computer, so they couldn't get it on the email chain. And it, it was messy, but we got the project done, and we did a really well, uh, good job on it. So the third project came around, and everything was spit and spam. It was awesome. Communication can always be improved, but we started like a group email chain, and that worked out really well. We started using Google Drive, which has helped tremendously, so we don't have to keep sending links back and forth between each other and files and whatnot. Um, and then it just got better from there. And now we're working on this project, right? So basically, my reflection is that group projects are very hard. From the beginning, I was designated group leader because I tried to reach out to everyone. Um, for a sense, kind of charge and assigned roles. Um, and I think everyone's okay with that. At least everyone said they're okay with it. So, you know, kind of hoping it's okay. Um, you know, group projects are hard. You have to be able to work in them. You're always going to work in them for your life. It, it doesn't matter what job you have, unless you're like a. Yeah, unless you're like the Tooth Fairy or whatnot. Like, you're always going to be. Working in group. And it sucks. 
has its perks because it gets the job done and you get a bunch of different ideas, but it sucks. Let's be real. It's hard. It's tricky. It takes up a lot of time. A lot of feelings are going to get hurt. And communication is very, very difficult. But once you try and watch these videos, hopefully you can understand some of the problems that pop up, how to deal with them, you know, and try to make it a real life situation so that people can apply it to their own lives. But basically, this group project was, wasn't the easiest. You know, it's summer. We all have different schedules. We all have jobs. We all have school. We have our lives going on. It's not just, you know, fall or spring semester where all you do is class and what have you. This is, you know, you have your free time, you have your families, you have everything else you like going on. So it, it was a bit difficult to get everyone to work together for it. But it worked out in the end. I think we turned out really good group projects, and I'm happy to have worked with everyone because it turned out super awesome. Hi everyone, my name is Leah and this is my reflection for summer course of Principles of Management with Professor D'Alessio. So I'm sure you've heard us all say that uh, to start got off to a rough start and I was no help with that. <laughs> um, I personally couldn't find the, the group assignments in the first week and didn't really look at it or try to find it so I wasn't able to help them out with the first part of the project so of course that put a you know, great reputation on the line for me. <laughs> um, and personally, when I first started out college, my my work ethic was all in the wrong place. So I really wanted to take a different light to that and change that. Um, so this was really a bummer to me, and I didn't want that to be how my team saw me. So um, I made a mental note to uh, not let that ever happen again. <laughs> and it didn't. Um, for the rest of the semester, we were all able to work together pretty well. Um, our ideas bounced back and forth very nicely. One of the things that I thought was really awesome about our group is that we never really got in an argument about anything like our TV show characters did. Um, when ideas were thrown around, they, it was always met with a positive light, which to me is very important because as soon as negativity or arguments arise, it just makes everything more um, difficult and awkward. Um, and we didn't really run into those kinds of problems, so it was really awesome. I do wish that we had been able to get together at some point. I think it might have made things flow a little bit better and given us all a better understanding of what people's lives are like and what they might be going through and their other responsibilities, but I think we really made it work considering that there's only a week left and we've gotten pretty good scores on all of our assignments so far. Overall, I just really enjoyed the ability to be able to work in a group like this um, it was a very unique approach to a class that I really liked, and um, it really did make the class so much easier to get the work done. I mean, I can't imagine doing these TV show stuff like by yourself. I probably wouldn't have even gotten half of it done. <laughs> Go team, the mighty few! For a business major, being in Professor Diasio's class is a very important stepping stone to success. Our group definitely learned a lot through trial and error and a few failures in the beginning, so we just wanted to give you some advice for when you take this class. The most helpful tip that I found would be to assign each group member their own parts. This way, everyone's clear on what they need to do for that week, what they need to submit by the end of the week, and then they won't have such a huge workload just for themselves. It makes the whole project a bit easier. Another important thing to do is to know the material that you need to study ahead of time and the assignments that are due at the end of that week. Look through your syllabus, look at the weekly course breakdown, look at the chapters you need to read. Staying ahead will always help, never hurt.
Another thing to keep in mind is that you probably don't really know the people in your group because they're on an online class. So you're never really going to meet them and you're never going to hang out with them or be in a class setting with them. Because of that, you need to be checking your email and your Canvas every single day. Unless your group takes it upon themselves to reach out through other forms of social media, these are basically the only ways that your group has to communicate. So it's very vital that you're always checking these in case uh, an assignment got changed or maybe a due date changed or a group member had an emergency and you need someone else to do their part. Anything could come up. You never know what could happen. Last but certainly not least, be unique. Be yourself. Create something that is true to you true to what your group believes in, true to the material that you've learned, and also makes you stand out from the countless other students that have tried to create the same kind of concepts that you have. If you stick to these few pieces of advice, your semester is sure to run smoothly. Best of luck to all you future managers out there. Thanks for